I got Animal Crossing on my brain, apparently. Yay, Animal Crossing! Also, excuse the burps. Can't let you cross the desert unless you got to uh, get past the, tr the two trials. First trial is the River Sand. Woo, freaking who? Uh, uh huh. I already know what the, the trials are, and I hate them. Because the game is in current twilight, I guess, I think I should be able to get through this. It's easier during the daytime, but even then, it's still a pain in the freaking ass. So, uh, who's ready to do the Haunted Wasteland? And hopefully the emulator doesn't frick me over like it generally does. Uh, yeah, no, it's still really hard to see. Like, granted, like, I know, I know what I was going to say, like, is the original hard to see. The original is actually not that hard to see in this area. But you guys are going to see the gripes I have with this area in particular, especially if you're playing on, on an HD TV, which you kind of have to because of the Switch. Uh, you generally can't see a damn thing. That's the item shop. Okay, those are flags. You just stay in the sense of the general flags. You should be able to go everywhere. Okay, one there. Uh, the problem is I can't tell what a flag is because my my the emulation on this for some reason on my TV like makes it look like everything's a freaking flag. So it's really hard for me to tell what's what. Okay, there. We gotta pass the first damn trial. And no, you do not have to come down. I'm just coming down for this. If you light the torches, there is a treasure chest to spawn, but I think it's nothing more than maybe some, like a blue, a, a potion or something? I don't freaking remember. We're definitely also not going to need it, just because I'm going to do, hopefully, the Desert Colossus in one fast swoop. Because the Desert Colossus, although, yes, the final dungeon, it's kind of a lengthy dungeon, and I don't necessarily want to have more than one visit with it. Well, one visit per situation, because you guys will find out what that means later. Okay. Come on. Spin around, show me where to go, cause you're the one who got me. Okay, there's ways you could like, if you memorize the map, like you have to truly memorize this map to do this properly. But the only thing I remember proper about this is that you basically have to do a little triangle here, I believe, when you go to the Desert Colossus. Uh huh. Part of me thinks you don't have to do that, but like, I haven't seen a speedrun of this in a while. And with that, we're done. So we are now at the Desert Colossus. With no music. Because it's still nighttime in the game. Thankfully, this still counts as like the open world, so the time does pass here. Oh, here we go. Gonna get badass music for a little bit. Pretty sure we're gonna get badass music for a little bit. Next up, let's also get some bombs. Yay! We gotta hear the guitar riff at the beginning, that's about it. Did it. So, this is the last great fairy we ever had to visit. This is the last great fairy with the last spell of the game, which is Neighbor's Love, which is basically a barrier that makes it so you don't take any damage. But with the amount of hearts that I have, it's kind of useless. Yeah. 
I used to do that so much, I, I can't do it right now. My throat's a little bleh. Here's a magic spell, please take it. Okay. Probably shouldn't spray your legs with that. Also, thanks, camera. Also, her legs are not attached to her body, if you saw that. I just realized, this is basically Daruk's uh, protection in Breath of the Wild, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually, yeah, that's the equivalent of, yeah, Daruk's protection. Arbosa's Fury is Din's Fire, and nothing's really close to Fenori's Wind besides, like, Revali's Gale is, like, the first thing that comes to my mind. And even then, that's, Revali's Gale is more useful than Fenori's Wind. Awesome music, yay! Also, crafting on leathers, get away from me! Not playtime with you, it's go the hell away time. The Triforce with wings! Are they, I think they use that same design for Cloud Princess, do they not? Probably. Also, there's no point going in because there's there's nothing you can do as an adult yet. Hello, Sheik! You are actually... This is the last time we're ever going to see you. Okay. Temple die. Restore the desert colossus to and enter the spirit the spirit temple. And you must go through the tide flow. We've done this before, Sheik. I don't need to be told this. And it's the only time the warp song is required. Yeah, I played this a lot when I was trying to play the Baleo of Fire. Spirit Requiem, which is the last mo uh, movement of most orchestras, I believe. If not, people are going to correct me. That's fine. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, this song is also very somber, which I like. Requiems in general are very somber because, like, you're supposed to play Requiems for like the dead and stuff. So I mean, very interesting. Which also begs the question. I guess it was like they wanted it to rhyme or whatever because, like, wouldn't Requiem of Shadow work in that case because of the dead? Uh, I mean, fair. Requiem of Spirits didn't really rhyme. I want to see. Oh crap! I want to see your face. We gotta walk back as a kid. Whip. Ba -da, ba -da -da -da. I know I definitely spent a lot of time here just listening to the Karudo theme. It's a good, good song. Wasn't dude just kind of neat playing as a kid. Or even as an adult, like, I would probably spend more time there if I just wanted to hear the music. And now, back to the time! Back to the time that once was. Put the sword back in the pedestal of time! You'll warp away! Hurry up. I really wish you could skip that animation because you do that so much in this game if you're doing things incorrectly. Yeah. Yay! Also, for those who don't remember, or those who have not uh, watched my uh, streams of Hyrule Warriors, this is actually one of the few songs I can play in Hyrule Warriors, and pretty consistently at that. I don't know why that matters, it's just a situation of... Yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. And New Wave Boss and I, I play pretty consistently. Leathers can't get on the ground. You guys suck. Also, what's wrong about you? We need you for a piece of heart, which will not give us another heart container, will it? Well, it gets close. It'll get us to halfway. And that's kind of worthless at that point. Hello, boss by boss. Also, uh, don't touch these guys. Oh, oh, you. Oh, I actually never knew you made a sound. Interesting. Uh. Nothing really.
If you if you give if you say other options, she just uh, basically chastises you a little bit. I hate Ganondorf. Hello, Nabaru. A lone wolf thief. Don't get me wrong, they're both uh, thieves. I'm completely different. I'm not Ganondorf. And his followers on the uh, side, women, children, and uh, killed. Uh huh. You're laying down very good lore about us, but uh, lore about the world. But hey. Freaking, this is already talked about a lot among Zelda fans. Ask me a favor. Uh, uh, thank God you specified, because that sounds real dirty. I won't make off of your treasure. Something worse will happen. Don't worry about it. Uh huh, again, we're the minions, this is using this pure temple as a hideout. The Silver Gauntlets would be, uh huh, a lot of sneak deeper into the temple, uh huh. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. I will do it, thanks, and I'll get the crap out of my way. Your boobs are too big, you can't get through that hole. Even though if you got on your stomach and actually crawl, you probably could. Rick and Tyler crawl, Tyler crawl. I'm going to go into this tiny hole. Also, I'm going to say right now, I don't know where the map is, and I don't really care. I kind of, I'm at that point of the game. I'm at that point of the last player where it's like, you're so close to the end of the game, let's just get it done and over with. <laughs> yeah, that's why I told you guys not to touch this one. <laughs> All oh, right, you can't. Uh, well, I mean, there's one way of solving this problem. Blow it up. And Armos can't get upstairs. Just blow it up. If your neighbor causes you problems, well, blow it up. Oh, I guess. Stalfos. I'm going to slash you. I'm going to slash you. I'm making my time and I'm doing my thing. You can't do anything to a child. Except you totally can. But I'm not letting you hurry up and show your face. Thank God. I don't know why I did Spider Man. I like just the left field. Okay, just like Jabba Jabba's belly, I messed it up entirely. Great. Get the right distance and throw. Get the right distance and throw. Get the right damn distance and throw. Death by child's play toy. Playtime toy. Think it shut up me. Oh, those pots are gonna try to kill me. Go on. Oh, what was that? You couldn't hit the broad side of the barn? Well, too freaking bad. Not my problem, but... All right, this guy. Uh, Din's fire. Have fun burning alive! You said you're not alive. Okay, oh, so oh, crap. I want Rupee. I'll take Rupee and death! It's fine, because everything still stays solved. Yes, I know, Navi. Shut your, your dumb face. Nope. Oh, also, if there's freaking fire, maybe not the best idea having a wood shield, huh? Wow, you spot a lot. I thought you just spot until the after that. Holy oh, crap. Oh, you're gone. I was getting like 40 rupees. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. I won't have to worry about a whole lot right now. Until I go touch that gold Skultula, I know it's like right there. Huh, the keys can't hit you from here. I thought they could. 
move around it, because that's like one of the only things that can hit you here. There we get that. I think a boomerang and eat it. Take a boomerang and eat it. Take a boomerang and eat it. Uh, do we have to light the room? We have to light the room, don't we? You realize that I was going to go for Gold Skulls and I'm still going for Gold Skulls because I'm smart? Yeah, I remember that. Thank you. Next up, give me my sticks. I need my sticks, cause I need to get a sig. Everybody want a sig. Everybody need a thing. I'm gonna pick you now. Did. And with that, we got a small key as I almost fall off the ledge. Hey, small key! We're almost done with the child section, actually. Hopefully, possibly, I don't remember. Actually, that's not true. I do remember. It's just a situation where I don't necessarily want to remember because the child section is the most important section of this part. It'd be kind of cool if this was just it, but I know there's like another puzzle room or something. Okay. You're gone. Not putting up with any of this crap. Give me heart. Or give me nut. Okay, never mind. Go scroll behind us, I know that. It's a nut, it's a nut, it's a nut! Alright, so fun little thing about this. Yeah, scrolls left. Yep. People always think you have to use bomb shoes on that part. No, you don't. It's very easy to just not use bomb shoes. Hey, Lizalfos, bye, Lizalfos. And with that. We are already in the last little section of it. I think when you get to the Colossus like this, you're at the last bit of it. Yep, because up here should be our satellite. Or I am full of it. Never mind. Well, we all know how to deal with Beamos. Light a fuse, take a shot. Light a fuse, take, take a crap. Another beam us, there's another beam us. Light the fuse, take a shot. And freaking get right in the face of death. Okay, five rupees, and there's always gonna be a set of six. Six. I'm not counting right now, because I don't really care. Ah! Fudge sickles! I can... You know what? It's been a long time since I've had a fudge sickle now, I think about it. Hey, why don't you use that fudge sickle as, as a kid? Like, you just go into your freezer, you find like, a little frozen, like, popsicle that's fudge and chocolate. It's delicious. And you got, like, the creamy, creamy, uh, filling and crap. You know, me, me talking about it that way, probably not the best, but, I mean, if anyone has, like, Memories of that. Yeah. I like the fudge. That's been a long time since I had fudge proper. Why do I always forget that's a thing? Well, oh well. Got a key. Got a key. I got the beautiful key. What you gonna do with that key? Okay, time to do the puzzle solution with the most, with the least moves. Except I'm probably gonna do the most moves because that's how I do. No, not that one. You grab this one, pull it out, and push up one more. And then you just basically drag this into the sunlight. 
sparkling Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you sparkle on me? That's all, not the song, but whatever. And... Bading? Give me the bading. There we go. Ba Okay, now's the sub fight. Now it's for everyone's terrifying nightmares come true. Also, I hear shaka shaka shaka. Where? There. One, a two, and a barabashu. I almost said there's a butthole on my shoe, and I'm like, why would a butthole be on your shoe besides the fact that you kicked it? Okay, well, say hello to the Iron Knuckle. Iron Knuckle? Iron Knuckle. Oh, now you're faster. Oh wow, okay. Probably not the best time being slow in the on the button, but huh? I did. <laughs> yeah, three hour challenge of those guys? <laughs> it's a nightmare. Oh hey, Gabora Gabora. Surprised to see me? It's been a long time. The world is almost, uh, is, yeah, the world is almost nothing to, uh, uh, to you. The mysterious. Uh huh, the tale of the boy, blah blah blah, shut up. Thank god I can skip that. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Owl. You know, technically, like, there's. Theories about that being raw or whatever, but I don't care. And with this, we've got the Silver Gauntlets. Now to give those to Nibiru. Except. Yep, yep. Except, we kind of done effed up. Or she done effed up. Oh, excuse me, the yawn. Yawning me is sleeping me, apparently. Okay. See ya. And there we go. So... I'm gonna go warp back to the Temple of Time, we'll warp back when we're an adult. Because now we gotta do the second half of the dungeon. I'll see you guys later.